When orange was the color and KCCI's desk was a big eight, the beard who sat behind it? It was part of my identifying features. Was a 30-year-old playing the newest role in news, co-anchor. Usually a young guy, that was me at the time, with Paul Rhodes at six and Russ Van Dyke at 10. Rick Fredrickson spent years on TV8 tossing to Connie McBurney and her map. I was talking about the weather. Yes, weather. It's going to snow three inches tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow. News, now more than ever. But the local boy who found himself behind the biggest desk in town never meant to land there. His classmates were being sent to Vietnam's front lines. Good morning, I'm Marine Corporal Rick Fredrickson with five minutes of news. He happened to land in the Marines newsroom. I was a little nervous about having to be on radio and TV, but I was thrilled. I would have been happy to be a, a truck driver or something like that. His first break. It was the peak of the Vietnam War, so I attribute it to luck. That experience in Saigon led in straight to that big and, uh, eight back in Des Moines. When you see those pictures come up, what kind of goes through your mind? I was aware that I had a, a very good job. But after 12 years at TV8 in 82? I just wanted to get back to Asia. He started the trip back. This is the premiere of the Channel 9 Morning Report. I'm Rick Fredrickson. Trading his beard for a lay behind Hawaii's anchor desk. And then to his dream. Rick Fredrickson tells the story from Thailand. Telling stories for Charles Kuralt, Bob Schieffer. Rick Fredrickson managed to file this report. And Meredith Vieira. Rick Fredrickson reports. Bangkok burns in the fury of anti-government demonstrations in a night of bloodshed and destruction. As CBS's Bangkok bureau chief. The story was great. I got to cover stories all around Asia, big stories. That was the peak of my reporting career. From typhoons to Tiananmen Square, Rick was there. Rick Fredrickson, TV8 News, Bangkok. Until Iowa called again, this time on public radio. In elections last year, Iowans rejected casinos. Where he and told stories and for 21 years until today. To fill the thermos with coffee and head out on a field trip by myself with uh, a great ending in mind, I, there's nothing that can beat that. And that's how I've ended my career back home. It's heavier than I remember. After 48 years of anything, retirement's an adjustment. There's still a thrill to be able to share a story with people and be the first to tell. But the storyteller doesn't have to go far to feel his impact, even three decades after that beard disappeared. It just happened at a doctor's clinic last week. He said, did you used to be on, did you used to be on Channel 8 News? And I said, yes, that's me.